Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome back to Crash Team Racing. In the last episode, I, def I went through Roost Tube, Sewer Speedway, and Mystery Caves and got the trophies in each of those maps. And on this episode, I'm going to rip a Roo and try and claim his key. So all I have to do is drive in here. Don't hit the back wall. So, boss battles are a little different. It's just going to be the two of us, me and the boss. The difference is the boss has unlimited has an unlimited supply of one certain item. I think for Riveru it's Oh, I I failed. He got it. Ah. What does he have? He has unlimited something. TNT boxes. He has limited TNT boxes and he'll be throwing out nitro crates as well. So his weakness to me, so my weakness, oh, I got a TNT box in my head. Get off! No. Oh, um, oh, this is bad. Well, I managed to get it off. But his his only weakness to me is that I need to get in front of him. Because TNT boxes and nitro crates are strictly oh, behind items. Oh, if I can get an item and not have it detonate. Okay, come on. Oh, I'm in front of him. There we go. I gotta keep his lead now. I don't think there's any... I don't think there's rubber banding in this. And for people that don't know, rubber banding is when the AI will gradually go slower because you're so far behind, and then if you are if you get ahead, they'll start going a lot faster. I think everyone just has a, uh, has a standard speed. See if he can get hit. Alright. I just gotta keep first. Doesn't matter if I'm juiced up or not, just as long as I stay in front of him. It looks like I will. Don't want to spoil anything, but I'm almost near the end already. And also, I just need to beat him at a race. I just need to beat him. One on one. Oh, failed that, but he hasn't even gotten. But, first place. I get his key! Well, let's press X. <laughs> so I think, I think that the trophy ceremony is exactly the same. Except he's on the platform, and instead of a trophy dropping down, it's just gonna be key. Using the key, I now have a path to the next realm, the next world, I guess. Congratulations on opening this new area. Blah. Shut up. But now I have access. Now, if you look at the bottom right-hand side of the screen, you'll see you'll see pretty much every map is open on this level. Yellow dots represent that I still have stuff to get in them. The multicolored dot means I now have access to a battle game, or like a battle mini game. I will be doing that probably last. I mean, right now I'm probably going to be going to the next world. But if the dots turn red, that means you have 100% of the stuff in that map. So I already have 100% of the stuff in the boss boss battle. I can go back there if I actually want to. But let's say goodbye to Insanity Beach for now, and let's head off to the next realm. Just like that, it's kind of seamless. Not not really though, but right here you'll notice two. Well, okay, Uga Uga's gonna pop up. You must first collect the required number. So for this one, we need at least ten time relics, and for this one, we need to get five gems. How we get those are different than the rest. Over here is where the is where the um trophy celebration takes place as you can see in the map there's a lot there's right there that is there's a two-star door not two star two key door this is well you don't have the four boss keys to open this door blah this is nitrous oxide he is the final boss and I can already go 
to where his entrance is, except I don't have all four boss keys to fight him. And here's a two-star door. Why am I saying two-star? It's a two-key door. And behind it is where we... is a couple maps. I'll show where that is when we actually get two keys. So this is like the... the boss realm, but we can't actually do stuff in here. Take this. And we are now in... The Lost Ruins. This is where... What is the boss room called? Gemstone Valley. Well, I can go over this. Okay, let's see. Insanity Beach, so... Skull Rock, that's the bonus one. Lost Ruins is where we're in. Glacier Park's gonna be the next one. I'm kinda spoiling. Citadel City after that. Here's where the CTR tokens come into place. And, like I said, we'll, I'll be explaining those when we actually start the CTR challenge. Relics, same thing. We can get blue, gold, or platinum, depending on the time. And then here is Gemstone Valley, the area we were just at. Slide Coliseum, we can only get a relic. Turbo Track, we can only get a relic. And then we can also get the five gems in Gemstone Valley. I'm just trying to buy time, because I don't know how... I don't want to start another... This one's just going to be strictly rip -a -roo. Over here we have... Cocoa Park. Over here is the boss of World 2. Oh. To access this boss garage, you must come in. Blah. Papu Papu. Over here is Papu's Pyramid, which is the boss track. Coco Park, that's obviously Coco's track. I should I should state that everyone everyone in the game has basically a track. Crash Cove is Crash Bandicoot. Ruse Tubes is Ripper Roo. Sewer Speedway is a little ambiguous, but that's like a hidden character that we can't actually play in the... We can't... Yeah, that we can't actually play. Mystery Caves is another sort of ambiguous one. But in here, we have Coco Park, which is Coco. Over here is Dingo Canyon. That's Dingo Dials. Papu Pyramid, which is... Papu Papu. And over here is the, is the minigame, Rampage Ruins. And down here is Tiger Temple, and that is Puras. I don't really think they get like a special bonus, but I'll save the game, and I think we'll end this episode off a little early. So, on the next episode of Crash Team Racing, we'll be doing at least two tracks in the next episode. So until next time, hopefully you enjoy.